So you're staying on Jekyll Island and you want to find a place that has delicious cheap eats. The place to go is the Jekyll Island Market. They have delicious barbecue. They have wonderful fresh shrimp. They have made to order giant sandwiches and homemade ice cream and homemade candies. What more could you want? Let's go inside. I'm a Charleston native. I love to go on cruises, travel to amazing places, and enjoy local cuisine. This is local Charleston. Summer is just beginning and it's a perfect time to take a road trip. We're heading to Jekyll Island, Georgia for some much needed R&R. When visiting Jekyll Island, be sure to check out this place. This is Driftwood Beach. They have some very interesting driftwood trees. Jekyll Island is a great place, but it can be a very expensive place to stay and eat. And I'm going to show you a place where you can go and save money and yet still have delicious food. And that place is the Jekyll Island Market. Jekyll Island is your one-stop shop for everything you could possibly need while you're staying on the island. Of course, being a market, they offer your standard grocery store fare. It's a good place to stock up in case your supplies are running low. But this market is oh so much more than just a grocery store. Our first food option is their Boardwalk Deli. The deli uses boar's head meat and offers a great selection of signature sandwiches as well as classic sandwiches like Rubens and Clubs. And you can get your sandwiches pressed, cold, or toasted. My wife went with the epic sandwich. Ham, turkey, roast beef, bacon, Swiss, avocado, lettuce, tomato, and mayo on ciabatta bread. You can tell by looking, they're very generous with the meat portion. I opted for the wipeout. Ham, turkey, roast beef, provolone and American cheese, pickles, deli dressing, lettuce, tomato and mayo on ciabatta bread. Each sandwich came out to just under $14, but the ingredients were super fresh and we were able to get about two meals out of it. They were well worth the money and cheap by Jekyll Island standards. This market is really great for just walking around and checking out all the neat little items they have. You know, like signature soaps and lotions, souvenirs, beach gear. They have a little bit of everything for everyone. If you're looking for that special souvenir or neat beach item, you can't do better than this. And they even have some island jewelry for you to check out. Now we're strolling along here because we're heading to a place that I think you're going to be amazed by. A delicious restaurant located in the very back of the market. And if you're a B-52s fan, you'll know exactly what the reference is. Of course the place is a little lost place we can get together, and as you know it, the Love Shack. This place offers up some amazing cuisine for a tiny little restaurant. They have a nice variety of items, and so you can find something for anybody in your family. I'm going to give you a nice long view of the menu. Now these prices were of as of May of 2022. Overall, their three main items are chicken, seafood, and of course, barbecue. If you need to get a drink with your meal, they have a number of nice bottled signature sodas, but they also have a couple of those Coke freestyle machines, so you can find something to drink. They also have local beer on tap and wine slushies, but I'll show you those a little bit later in the video. Of course, for this visit, we're going in for the delicious Georgia barbecue. My wife decided to get the jumbo pulled pork barbecue sandwich, and it lives up to its name. 
The meat on this sandwich is piled high and the barbecue was delicious. It was soft, juicy, it didn't have any fat in it, no rough parts to it. It was amazingly good barbecue. It's especially good covered in that golden mustard sauce. Now I went with the barbecue plate with the Brunswick stew as a side. Originally, I was going to go with the sandwich, but the Brunswick stew would have costed me $7.90. But since I got the barbecue plate, which has the same amount of barbecue, the Brunswick stew as a side was only $3.90. It was all so worth it too, because this Brunswick stew was the best I've ever had. It was loaded with pork and corn and beans, and the sauce was very spicy, almost a jalapeno level of heat. Now I'm a mustard sauce fan by trade, but I decided to give the red sauce a go and was not disappointed. It actually had a good level of heat to it and it wasn't too sweet. Now when visiting Jekyll Island, don't miss out on a chance in trying their local craft beer, seen here available in cans. Or try it fresh on tap. You can get a cup, a mini growler, or a growler. You can also try one of their frozen wine slushies. They come in pina colada, lemon drop, strawberry, and peach bellini. Some of this craft beer would definitely pair well with that barbecue we just had. It's our second day and can you guess where we're headed? Yep, we're headed to the back of the market to our favorite little dining stop, the Love Shack. This time, however, instead of barbecue, we're gonna try some of their delicious seafood. My wife decided to get the shrimp and oyster combo with a side of their mac and cheese. You can tell just by looking, this is a generous portion of fried seafood. Look how plump and juicy that oyster is, and it is fried to perfection. If you're an oyster lover, you'll really enjoy these. And here's some of that fried Georgia shrimp, cooked to a nice golden brown. The shrimp and oysters were definitely super fresh. This mac and cheese is ooey gooey perfection and has a little bit of pimento cheese mixed in for some added flavor. It makes a perfect side for this delicious seafood. I'm a shrimp lover myself, so I had to go with the jumbo shrimp platter with a side of fries. Now the fries aren't homemade, but they were still tasty and cooked crispy and hot. And this meal is a great deal. I got 15 shrimp, all wonderfully sized, for 18 bucks. You can't get a better deal like that on this island. We decided to stroll around the market a little bit more to check out what other items they have. Everywhere you turn, there's little knickknacks and magnets, beachwear, and all kinds of little delicacies to pick from. And if you're a wine lover, they have a pretty decent wine selection. It's fun to just stroll around the market and see what's hiding around every corner. If you got a sweet tooth, this is for you. This is their Brittle Bar. It has cashew, Cajun, pecan, peanut, peach, strawberry, and chocolate peanut brittle. And here we find their homemade chocolates and bonbons. And you know what? I could really kick myself because I didn't get any to take home. Let me tell you, if you're a chocolate lover, you're going to have a tough time walking past this case. Would you like a nice slice of cake? Don't worry, they've got you covered. Now this is a sweet treat that I've been waiting for. This is Sprinkles Ice Cream. 
All their ice cream is natural, no artificial ingredients, and homemade. And the number of flavors they have is outstanding. You can get their ice creams served in a little dish, or you can get a sugar cone or a waffle cone. Also, if you're a big fan of ices, they do have an icy machine here. You're gonna have a tough time coming up with a decision with all these wonderful flavors to choose from. It's pretty staggering. Or maybe get one of these wonderful ice creams as a milkshake. My wife got two scoops, turtle tracks and butter pecan. And let me tell you, this ice cream was super delicious. Very, very creamy. I went with the cookies and cream and mint chocolate chip. Trust me, I did not regret it. So if you're looking for a great place to take the family or even the family dog, go to the Jekyll Market. You'll have a great time. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps to grow the channel. And we put out a new video each week. And as always, thanks for watching.